Most people assume that only modern man had mastered the skill of flight. The slow development of technology and advancements in manufacturing techniques, allowing us to make more and more precise components, enabling exhaustive trial and error until flight was accomplished. However, there exists a series of documents written in the world's earliest language, which not only detail the construction of such flying machines, but even documents the test flights of these ancient flying crafts. The Mahabharata, the Ramayama, and the Puranas are just a few of these ancient Indian texts written in Sanskrit which detail these flight tests. The texts, in fact, give surprisingly detailed accounts of these ancient airships, also known as Vimanas. Detailed descriptions of the ship's construction are also given, with ancient wording which has since been translated into such phrases as graphite rod, copper coils, crystal indicator, stable angles, among many others. The texts also include details on anti-gravity, invisibility, photography, weapons, and interplanetary travel. For example, the following excerpt describes the propulsion and movement of the Vimana. Strong and durable must the body of the Vimana be made, like a great flying bird of light material. Inside, one must put the mercury engine with its iron heating apparatus underneath. By means of the power latent in the mercury, which sets the driving whirlwind in motion, a man sitting inside may travel a great distance in the sky. The movements of the Vimana are such that it can vertically ascend, vertically descend, move slanting forwards and backwards. With the help of the machines, human beings can fly in the air and heavenly beings can come down to earth. Additionally, the following example is from one of the texts which demonstrates the power that these ships possessed. Gurkha flying in his swift and powerful Vimana, hurled against the three cities of the Varishnis and Andahakas, a single projectile charged with all the power of the universe. An incandescent column of smoke and fire, as brilliant as 10,000 suns, rose in all its splendor. It was the unknown weapon, the iron thunderbolt, a gigantic messenger of death, which reduced to ashes the entire race of the Varishnis and Andahakas. The corpses were so burnt that they were no longer recognizable. Hair and fingernails fell out. Pottery broke without cause. Foodstuffs were poisoned. To escape, the warriors threw themselves in streams to wash themselves and their equipment. It is speculated that the original writers of those texts were from an ancient civilization. They are also argued to have actually recorded real events which occurred between 15,000 and 26,000 years ago. The remnants of an ancient civilization with weapons similar to that of a nuclear warhead that existed in Pakistan and India over 15,000 years ago. The texts were originally passed down orally from generation to generation and were finally written down and preserved by Indian priests. Although debunking efforts have been experienced, the sheer antiquity of the scripts this information is found upon has left such explanations severely lacking. For instance, the academically accepted theory being that the texts are merely from Indian mythology, written between 300 BCE and 300 CE. This clearly in denial of the evidence, which suggests they are far older. However, evidence that the same such fields would usually embrace, yet when this means a conceding of such facts, they chose to ignore said evidence in favor of shaky alternatives. The texts are available for anyone to read. We implore you to investigate them yourselves for an insight into our very distant past.